What is going on, everybody? Z here, and welcome to Z1's cleanup service. That is right. Kind of a new series that we're doing here. We're going to give it a chance. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. If you do, don't forget to leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. I'll have information down below. But what we're doing, this save right here, second chance. We're going to go ahead. We're going to load this save in. And this comes from a Discord user, Nebuchadnezzar. I'm hoping that I said that right. I'm hoping I said it cor completely correctly. Uh, so we're going to load in this save. We're going to take a look at the base. We're going to see what we can do to clean up the stuff. And I was, uh, I, I asked for a screenshot of the, of the save of the map. And I did see a polka dotted ball. So I was like, hmm, this looks pretty interesting. But it already looks like, oh, wow. It's already running roughly. Hmm. Oh, geez. Yeah, okay. You made you made a thing that goes all the way to uh of space. I'm guessing the edge of space. Oh, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So, yes, we're doing this. If you guys would be curious, if you guys want to. Oh, I like the use of this stuff. Okay. Uh, if you guys are curious and you want to possibly have your save featured, Discord link down below. There is a uh, there's an area in the Discord. It's called Z1's Cleanup Service. And what you might have to do, if your file is too large, you might have to upload it as a Google Docs and then give me a, uh, a link to the Google Docs drive. And please post a screenshot. Please, please do. It's super handy. But uh, yeah, so let's first take a look at what we got here. We got a little bit of a pile of storm. You know, uh, it's it's unorganized, but it's not like terrible. Like El the astronium is all right here. And it looks like we have all the steel here. We got some iron. We got a ton of silos. Oh, tons of silos. Ready to rock. What is down here? <gasps> no, you made a pit. Why would you make a pit? You have so much storage. This is not even that bad. This is not that bad. Look at all the iron. This is like nicely organized. This is not terrible. Okay, so we're um so one thing I'm seeing is that they're trying to flatten. And they're trying to use this surface and it kind of kept going up a little bit. I can see what's happening here. <gasps> oh, I, I see what's going on here. Oh my goodness. I'm, I have no idea. Is, did they use the scrap glitch for this? Was there a scrap glitch involved? Let's go check out the shredder. <laughs> Let's see what we have. Is there a battery anywhere nearby? No, no, they weren't. How on earth we're getting with it? There's so much scrap here. Look at all of this scrap. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely amazing. That's a lot of scrap. I haven't seen that much scrap since the uh, the, scr uh, the scrap glitch of 2018. <laughs> I don't think it was actually 20. Was it 20? No, it wasn't. It was early 2019. <gasps> oh man, that's a lot of scrap. Okay, so we got that over the air. <gasps> no, you built a quarry to the surface. That looks terrible. Okay, so I'm gonna do what I can. You know what though? I gotta say, I gotta say, they're they're not like utilizing all one little tiny tiny area. They were using different areas. Like, okay, so all the way out here you have your shuttle. I like it. It's spread out. It's open up. Uh now, oh my gosh, I see what I see what I see what Okay. The polka dotted ball. I'm not gonna lie. I saw this, and I was like, oh my gosh. I haven't seen one in game for so long. It's wonderful. Okay, we're gonna leave that there. Um, anyways, we got some cleanup stuff to do. We have our work cut out for us for sure. So honestly, I think the first thing I want to do, uh, see, like, I don't want to change too much. But at the same time, like, I kind of want to change a lot of things because like I OK, I really hate these cliff things like this. I, I'm not a big fan of like jetting off like this. Like I, I don't, I don't like that. Um. Oh, it looks like you there. It looks like they're actually working down here at getting a a new flatter area. Okay, so this this could be this is promising, and the reason this area is promising is because it's below a lot of the surrounding terrain. Oh my gosh! I figured out they're getting so much scrap because they're probably turning the soil into something useful. Oh man, this is a large area that's cleared out. Wow, neato. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, so I'm thinking that we might, we might migrate this base down to a new flat area. I'm not like a huge fan of like this whole like multi-layered thing unless it's like utilizing naturally occurring. Uh, oh geez, do I have a boost and a wide? <gasps> we got a boost and a wide and a drill. I don't. We don't need a drill mod here. We're not. We're not anywhere that needs a drill mod. 
Uh, what do we have for power situation stuff? I saw the batteries back here, but what was, uh, what was the power generational stuff? Was there, is, do I see any RTGs? Let's see what we have unlocked. <gasps> we have 75,000 bytes. Oh, it looks like everything is unlocked. Okay, well, this is a great save to try out because, <laughs> because it's like everything's unlocked. <laughs> this is super end game. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do, uh, the first, first step, I think. I think my first, very first step is going to be to get an area that I can start moving the stuff into that's a little bit flatter. Oh my gosh, there's just things everywhere. I mean, it's actually fairly organized as far as like a mess goes. Like this is a hot mess. I mean, it's just sitting here. That one's just sitting here. But this whole platform is copper. This whole platform is ammonium. Uh, that's pretty well organized. That's a lot of soil. That is a lot of soil oh my gosh you know what i was kind of worried about uh collecting the soil that i'm drilling out but i think with that amount of soil we're probably just going to utilize what we got so uh firstly i'm gonna need some tethers and i'm gonna need some tethers i'm gonna need some tethers uh so i can actually hmm I'm honestly thinking maybe maybe a generator would be ideal here. Would a generator be ideal? This is just this has got to be fixed. This is this is a <laughs> I I hate. I do not like pits. I do not like the pits like that. That's just me and my personal opinion. Where might I find a generator? Do you have a generator? You've got to have a generator. There's got to be one laying around here somewhere. All right, we do have we have an RTG here. We do have one of those guys indeed. Um, so, and I, I kind of, I, I think I'm seeing why they kind of did this. They, they built off of the, uh, off of where the habitat's at. So they built off that way, brought it out and I get it. Uh, you bring it out from me over here. It's going to start expanding out. Now, I think, I think we can do something clever with this. I hope, I hope we can do something clever with this. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Um, but I'm, I'm going to need a lot of power. Do you have any small battery? Where's all the small batteries at? I'm not actually sure where all the power generation is coming from. I'm not seeing, I, I mean, I see some, some wind turbines here that aren't connected to anything. We have a solar panel there. I did see a RTG. I mean, there's a wind turbine there. I mean, this is kind of a neat idea, but it's just, it, it doesn't really work with this very much. Uh, okay. So I'm not really seeing a whole lot of anything. So I think we need to, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to start some some de deconstruction, some reconstruction of the things. There's a lot going on here, but I think this is a fantastic one to tackle. This is absolutely insane. Uh, do we have any lithium? I'd like to get some small batteries. I'd like the the small batteries so I could have them on my backpack. Uh, what do we have? Is that nanocarbon? My gosh, nanocarbon alloy just sitting at the ready. I don't even have that on my safe. All right, we got some batteries. I got a generator. We got some tools. We're ready to rock and roll. Is this? Okay, cool. That's the thing. I took the drill mod off. Don't need the drill mod right now. Not sure what was going on with that, but I liked the area over here. I like this area. It's nice and low. We should be able to cut right into all of the mountains areas or the, uh, the hilly areas and fill things as we go. So I think this is the one we're going to use. Now, I'm not going to spend too much time worrying about getting things perfectly flat because I it, that's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. I'm just going to do what I can with what I got. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So the first phase is going to be to flatten out a nice big area that we can uh, that we can start putting some things down in. All right. So I got a little bit of flattening done, a little bit of leveling done. Took this area out, brought it over here, brought it this way, brought it that way a little bit. Trying to clear out a nice little area. Now, I think... I think I'm going to try to keep things like relatively the same style that they have it. I'm going to try to keep things laid out about the same in the same spot. Now, I was saying I do not like the uh, the cliffs, but I think in this case, I think I'm going to run a cliff edge right here. So you can just kind of outlook over here and kind of see this area. I don't know. I don't know. This might this might become like a little design feature. Not sure. Also, I am aware that if I flatten this out and bring it all the way up here, that this uh, this habitat is going to be kind of floating. So. I'm gonna have to try to incorporate some steps or something with that. If we had the true flat, this would be super easy, but we don't. So it, it's, it's not a thing. Um, and then, uh, yeah, yeah. So 
Uh, going to try my best to kind of keep things relatively the same way they have, but at the same time, I'm just going to start reorganizing stuff. So I think what I'm going to try to do, and um, it's I it I don't know if it's going to make into to post production or not, is I'm going to start time lapsing now. If this is going to be a hefty time lapse, like a hefty time lapse, if the entire thing's there, I might cut out some of it. I might make it a short time lapse. I might have a full like like a full length time lapse. If it's a long one, then I'll have a uh, I'll have a timestamp to where the time lapse ends. That way you guys can skip it if you want to. Why can't I? This one is attached still. Uh, yeah, perfect. Okay, so I think that's what we're gonna do. I think it's the best course of action right now. Um, yeah, I think that's it. If I had a free cam, I would totally free cam this whole thing and just like show you a you know a sky view down. But I don't have that option. All right, so things are looking pretty good so far. Getting there, we're getting somewhere. As you can see, we got some things reorganized a little bit. I'm trying to keep this big, huge open area feel. Now, I got to do a lot of terraforming. I got to like, I got to remove all of this stuff right here, and then I also have to figure out kind of how I want to uh, incorporate the landing area because this area right here, you can't really do a whole lot with. It's it's here, it's there. You can't. You can't, you can't really remove it. It's kind of a pain. So I'm going to try to figure out how to incorporate that. We're probably going to put this up on a little uh, a little pedestal deal. And I'm going to try... I'm going to try to put like a nice little even ramp. If we had true flat, we could do some stairs. But guess what? We don't have that. So, uh, But things are going pretty good. I got a bulk of the stuff moved, kind of, for the most part. And lucky for me, there was already... Uh, what was it? Like four i think there was like four things of uh of these extra large platforms which is amazing absolutely amazing so that was a very handy very nice to have a whole bunch of things ready to go uh just not actually kind of done yet so we're going to actually let me just throw this guy on here like so uh this area right here obviously is going to be our storage area uh this whole area right here i think is probably gonna be full of storage and then i think we're gonna have the the launch pads and things like that over there uh, next to that guy, but it's looking good so far looking good so far. Also, I did find the RTGs I did I found them. There's like what eight of them over here on a platform I don't know exactly what the ring is for so I think we're gonna go ahead We'll probably crack open like uh, one or two of them throw them on the base for power, but the rest of them I'm gonna leave in 
Uh, I'm going to leave them in the packaging. Actually, these two right here will probably crack those guys open. Uh, and this guy as well. But we'll leave these eight because I don't know if there's like future plans for those. Um, so that's going to be the plan for that. Moving forward, uh, let's see what else we got. We got some zebra balls that we got to have on display. Absolutely, those have to be on display. They can't just be sitting there like that. They, they, they just can't be chilling. I got this area cleaned out of scrap. It took quite a few of these little storage shields. Um, but yeah, things are looking pretty good now. Pretty good. I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is I think I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, I'm not, I'm not going to do time lapsing anymore because I feel like it's going to be really long time lapse. I mean, if you guys, if you're interested in a full huge long time lapse let me know leave a comment down below if you're not let me know as well but um, i think from here on we're i'm just gonna do jump cuts kind of show you along the way but uh yes so i'm gonna continue on i think i'm gonna do some deterraforming or just terraforming not deterraforming uh terraforming flattening getting things spun up uh probably move a whole bunch of this little stuff i got the big stuff all moved up so that's pretty handy all over here handy dandy fantastic um, so yeah, I guess I'll, I'll see when, uh, when I get back done with this stuff, hopefully. Alrighty. So I think we have completed the Z1 cleanup service. Now I'm not saying everything is organized. I'm just saying it's cleaned up. It's put away and it meets my standards. Obviously, if I had more time, I'd go through and actually organize everything, get everything where it needs to be. But let's go ahead and do a little walk around, shall we? So we have over here. The printer platform, that is right. We have the large printer, the medium printer, two teeny tiny printers. I threw the uh, the research chamber and guy over here. Now, I tried to use the platforms that I had available. And I tried to not repackage anything if I didn't absolutely have to. So, um, I did make, I think I made like two more platforms, if I'm not mistaken. And that was just to get some things stored. There was a lot of loose items, a lot of loose items. So, uh, we have that stuff over there. We have the soil centrifuge station over here, which obviously is being used. So I figured, what the heck, let's throw this guy over here. We have our, uh, the large rover, and I can see we have a mobile shredder unit. I like it. So that's go over here facing this area, because I'm going to say that this is probably the next quarry. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Um, and then we just have like random little storage deals. Uh, I was going to put this here. But I didn't, and I was gonna throw things here and here, but I I, I did not as well. <laughs> I did not. Obviously, we have the polka dot ball on display, but let's go ahead. Let's take a look back here. We have all of the storage things, all right here, and room for expansion. That is right. And then back here, we have one convenient place for all the power stuff. That's right. We have power generation over here. Now I only used one RTG. I didn't unpack anymore. I just left the uh, the one RTG that was already unpacked. Threw it over here. You know, one nice little area for all the power things. Super handy. All the scrap over here. And then we have all of these platforms. You can see this is more of a mixed variety. And a lot of this was just kind of like chilling around, just sitting, kind of doing its thing. So I just picked it up, put it away. I tried to keep things semi-organized with each other. As you can see, like a few things are like this has a general theme of like packaged items and utilitarian things and whatnots. Ooh, actually, let's move this one. Because I have this platform over here. We'll go ahead and remove this. Um, there was a research chamber that I went ahead and stored because I was like, well, don't really need it. Got everything unlocked. Uh, so storage stuff over here. Fantastic. And then I did go ahead and I built two more uh, launch platforms. So you can see we have one here. We have one here. Kind of just like, you know, we're looking kind of natural. Uh, and then we have this platform here. You have the uh, hydrazine thrusters. There was already three here. It's just chilling, so I threw them on a platform next to some hydrazine. That way you're good to go. You can launch your shuttle, do what you got to do. Over here, we have the uh, the recreational canopy next to this thing. I just set it there for, for look-sees. Um, we had a couple of packaged vehicles, so I just left them packaged, set them over there in a nice little, nice little organized configuration. And then over here, I didn't really do anything. I didn't really do anything. Um, I did a little bit of terraforming. As you can see, we're not like hanging out above everything. I I tried to form the landscape to make it look as natural as possible. I kind of took off the hard edges. Uh, this guy could probably be smoothed out just a little bit more. But I tried to uh, I tried to just kind of smooth it out, let it flow with the land back here. I di I didn't really know what to do with this guy, so I just kind of set up a couple things. So it looks like there's something going on over here. I got a the, there was a splitter over here. So I just made it go into itself. That way there's like, you know, some movement, some some motion, some things like that. And uh, yeah, we have this area right here. Super fantastic. Looks very nice. Uh, all these tethers. Something weird's going on. 
I can't tether to this. I, you know, <laughs> I have no idea why. Not the slightest idea why. Where did that tether go? Oh, I have a couple. Uh, so that's over there. I did leave this platform over here. I didn't mess with this at all because this was, I, I don't know if this is like a work in progress or something. Maybe they're, maybe, maybe they're trying to make a, like a launch pad area. I don't know. Uh, so I did leave this area, but for the most part, the main base, when you're there, you can interact, you can do all your things. Like there should really not even be a reason to kind of come over here. Honestly, there's, there's really nothing over here. Um, uh, minus the ramp that's going to build limit and then maybe they're going to make it go down. I don't know. I don't know. And then we have the, the, uh, the, the slide, the tunnel. I don't, uh, the quarry, maybe I, you know, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, left that there, made sure that it was all tethered up, good to go. That way you can see where you're going. Uh, I did cover up a little bit of this hole. I covered up this front half right here. That way, when you're over here looking at the base, it's not a immediate drop off into nothingness. It kind of looks like a natural landscape. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to keep things natural here. I'm trying to keep things natural. Unless we had, you know, if we had, per if we had true flat, then there'd be nothing natural looking. It'd be all perfect angles and whatnots. But, um, yeah, this is, this is how it came out. I feel like it came out pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to shoot over the save back to, uh, uh, what is it? Nebuchadnezzar? Is it Nebuchadnezzar? I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, but over on Discord, again, if you guys are curious, uh, Discord link down below, head over to the hashtag Z1's cleanup service, and you can post your, uh, your save there. If you don't know how to do it, head over there, scroll up to the top, look at the pin message. It tells you how to access your file. You're probably going to have to make it a Google doc though. If it's too large, uh, this one was definitely too large. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff going on. But I feel like it came out pretty decently. I feel like it came out pretty decently. So you have rows. I tried to make everything in rows. And I tried to use a similar platforms in the rows. So you see these are all medium platforms with some storage. These are all the platform type Ds, extra large platforms. There is one thrown right here, but that was honestly just to get power back here. Um, I wanted to make sure that every platform was powered. It was good to go and oxygenated. So I threw an oxygenator over here with the power platforms because once this is connected up, you're good to go. So then you, you never have to worry about that. All these are oxygenated. You can be in any of these places, be tethered up. Fantastic. Looking good. Uh, I left the light. I left the light. I just brought it over here. But, um, but yeah, that, that was that. Now I gotta say this took a lot longer than I was anticipating, like way longer. So I don't know how often these are going to come out, but if you guys would like to, uh, to try to have your save featured here and have me clean it up. Uh, hopefully this beats your standard again. I just pick things up. I didn't necessarily organize because if I was going to organize this would I it would have took me absolutely forever and then uh, decoration and stuff like that. I did a little bit of decor, you know, like this area, try to make it look nice Did this over here, you know, try to have like a little area for things right here. But um, but yeah, I feel like it came out pretty good. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. But that's going to end this episode of Asher. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. And I will, uh, oh, we're streaming today on Twitch, by the way. Twitch.tv slash Gaming. Streaming live. Absolutely. But, uh, but yes, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next one.